finally here. The night I dread every year. It's Halloween. This night is supposed to be a night of fun and scares for young and old alike, but tonight, in this town, it's going to be a bloodbath. I am a werewolf, but for some reason, I don't change on every full moon. I only change every Halloween. The moon tonight will turn me into a savage beast with no emotion, and I will grant no mercy. I will feel no love or pity. All I will feel is hunger, bloodlust, and the need to quench it. Anyone I come across tonight will become my prey, and I damn well will enjoy it but it makes the human in me sick. I've been able to keep this secret from my family for nine years, and every night I get a pit in my stomach and get the feeling like I might wake up in the morning without my family. I got the same feeling this morning, but it was the strongest it has ever been. I just wished I'd listened to my instincts and quarantined myself in the woods. But that is past, and I have to deal with the consequences of my actions. The day started off great. I woke up, showered, kissed my wife, drank coffee, ate breakfast, and hugged my son and daughter as I left for work. I was in a great mood, despite knowing what was going to happen tonight. I am the town sheriff. This town lost their last sheriff in a terrible accident ten years ago, and I volunteered to move here to serve as the new authority. The day passed just as boring as any other. Paperwork, paperwork, and more paperwork. Mind-numbing work to be done in such a small town. My day ends at four but I tell my wife that I'm on patrol duty every Halloween to settle any minor disputes that may happen between the townsfolk. Shortly before I turned, I decided to spend my time tonight at the large farm at the edge of town. I just wish I knew what was taking place there. It turns out that the farm was hosting a haunted cornfield maze this year. Little did they know about my plans. I learned to take all of my clothes off after the first couple of times buying new outfits isn't exactly cheap. I parked my patrol car on the far edge of the farm and undressed. I left all my clothes in the trunk of my car and took refuge in the wheat field while I waited to change. At around nine o'clock it began. My limbs elongated. Both of my jaws jutted out, giving me a snout. My feet and hands grew, also giving me claws, and a thick carpet of dark hair grew out, covering my whole body. My senses opened up, too. I could see better, hear better, and I could even smell the excitement and fear in the air. Shortly after turning, I heard what sounded like a ram's horn being blown. The sound led me to the edge of a cornfield. Looks like I was being called to dinner. Somewhere beyond the corn, I could smell it. The sweet and intoxicating aroma of blood. And I needed it. I tore madly through the corn stalks to find my meal. Eventually, it was going to come to me, but I didn't want to wait. I could hear screams echoing throughout the corn maze, and it was continuously driving me mad. I could hear them, but I could not see the sacks of flesh that I wanted to rip apart with my bare hands. I wanted to slash open their necks and drain their very essence from their bodies. My hunger needed to be satiated. I was about to run through another patch of the stalks when I came across a little girl. She didn't recognize me. But something in my mind recognized her. Even so, I didn't show mercy. 
I needed to feed. So I did just that. While my daughter stood frozen in fear, gaping at me, I drew closer and closed my jaws around her throat. It was a quick death. She wasn't in pain very long. Within seconds, there was blood and guts and random body parts all around me. As I ate, I could hear more voices approaching. Something told me that it was my wife and son looking for the child that I had just heartlessly devoured. I knew that all they were going to find was a quick death at the hands or claws that once provided for and showed love to them. 